Okay, so welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, Christopher, I can't believe you've released your first video. Yes. And today's video is gonna be a behind the scenes of a recent passion project that I am currently working on. So you might be thinking, Chris, what does this photography passion project consist of? To answer your question, it involves myself uh, as a model in a chair, not just any chair, a vintage chair, which I got from eBay um, at different locations. I'm talking cities, mountains, beaches, you know, anywhere where you just wouldn't expect a vintage looking chair to be there. And my goal is when a viewer comes across this you know, whole body of work, I want them to think, damn, how did this guy manage to get a chair in the middle of Oxford Street or you know, in the ocean? You know, I really want that to be sort of the wow factor um, of these images. In today's video, we are going to Trent Park, uh, situated in very far North London, 413 acres of rolling meadows, enchanting brooks, exquisite lakes, ancient woodland, and imposing historical sites, according to Google. So after yamming down a McDonald's breakfast, we then made the long 20 minute trek to Trent Park. Made it to Trent Park, we got the chair. Do we have a plan, camera woman? No. No, no plan. Um, that's how a lot of these shoots go, but we'll walk around, get the scenery, show the scenery off in a car park. Now to get the chair from the car park to the shooting location, as I'm sure you can imagine, involves a lot of lifting and walking. So we have just lugged this chair from the car park, which is all the way down there. Show them the car, like where we came from. We found this tree. I just quite like it. The, the light is hitting it quite nicely from the from the back, like as you can see that like, the leaves are like nicely lit. The plan is to stick the chair underneath there, maybe get like the leaves as like okay, like I don't know, see how it looks. That's it. With the little plan that we had, uh, we did try various different angles and compositions to try and find, you know, a photo that could work for this specific location. Uh, however, as you can see on the screen, none of them uh, are particularly good in my humble opinion. So, after walking about approximately eight miles, we've stumbled across this little field. Um, as you can see, hills, trees, sun keeps on dipping in and out, which makes shots more interesting. Uh, props wise, we've got a dog, a dog? <laughs> a banana. We had a dog, which I'll show you the shots now. Um, it was like a husky. I'm not gonna lie, I think that might have been the shot of the day. Um, so a husky on a dog, which I'm sat on. I, I'm not gonna lie, I could have pissed, but it's all good. I think it's, it's dry, so it's all good. Um, we did uh, sunglasses, which was your idea actually, so thank you camera woman. Um, and now a banana. And the idea is just to try and make the shots interesting a little something to give it you know not just me sat in the chair you know whether it's the framing whether it's the lighting uh, whether it's dogs bananas so as i just mentioned we did end up taking quite a few photos at this specific location uh my favorite being the one of the husky um very random time this husky with uh, its owners just walked past i said hey if you can get the husky in the chair, that'd be a decent shot. So I asked, they said yes. And yeah, I think the shots turned out pretty decent. Probably one of the shots of the day, I would say. I think I make a decent subject within the chair, but having you know a ginormous dog just chilling in the chair, I think um, it's probably a lot more engaging and more of a strong image, in my opinion. So shortly after this, we decided to move the chair a few meters down the path into a section of longer grass uh, where things got slightly worse. So, update. I had what I thought was a genius idea of doing like a bit of a long exposure. It was windy like a second ago and uh, these kind of move a bit. And I was thinking a long exposure, me shaking my head so you can achieve you know certain types of 
uh, like a look of like your face is blurred, the grass is blurred. Like I thought it would look like so cool and like, like whoa, like a lot of movement in this image. Uh, and it really like adds to the effect. But as you can see from the images on screen, yeah, shocking. Um, and that's just like a reminder that sometimes you have a good idea, uh, what you think is a good idea and it's just complete shit and it happens. You just got to keep, keep going, try something else and maybe that might work. So yeah, that's like a big part of this process. Just like um, keep trial and error, what works, what doesn't work. Because we, how many photos would you say we've taken today, Campbell Woman? Probably like close to like five, six hundred. Yeah, and how many do like I post? Probably like five, six, you know? So uh, there's something to keep in mind. So just to add, whilst trying to get this long exposure shot of, you know, my face moving side to side vigorously, um, I actually managed to give myself a lovely migraine for the rest of the day. So um, yeah, wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, on to the next location. So on the drive to Trent Park, which is where a lot of these uh, shots have been taken, we stumbled across this long hilly road. Obviously I'm in, I'm in North London, so we don't get hills like this. Uh, so driving along this, I thought, ooh, this could be an interesting shot. After waiting a while for the road to be clear on both sides, we then decided to run into the road with the chair um, and I'd say this was probably the shot of the day. Um, and from this, I learned sometimes if you don't take a little bit of risk, you don't get much of a reward. Um, and here, I think that the little risks that we took in, uh, well, possibly dying and getting run over, um, I think was, uh, was worth it for the shot. So after getting that final shot, uh, we actually decided to call it a day and end the shoot there. Overall, I think we got some decent shots at Trent Park. Um, however, what's more important in, in my opinion is I just had a great day. Um, I think as photographers or creatives, it's easy to think, oh, I must get the shot that I want. You know, like I, I need that, that banger on Instagram that's going to pop off, but I would argue it's more important just to enjoy, you know, shooting, being outside, getting fresh air, um, you know, being creative. I think it's just about enjoying the process rather than, you know, the destination, which is these Instagram bangers that you may or may not have gotten. Anyway, after that little speech, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and catch you in the next episode. Peace.